welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. In this episode, we take a look at one of the craziest six to seven hour experience I have had in a very long time with Senua's Saga Hellblade 2. When this game was announced, I was not as excited as I never really got into the first installment with Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. I've known a lot of people who just couldn't get into the game due to its puzzles and that is my kryptonite to say the least. As previews after previews came out, I began to give a bit more attention based on its visuals and presentation. The game does look awesome so I took the dive and I really enjoyed the experience and that experience was pretty much a one and done. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 was developed by Ninja Theory and released by the Xbox Game Studios in 2024 on Windows PC and the Xbox Series X and S. The game is an action-adventure game that also features combo-based combat with mini puzzles throughout the game. The story has the warrior Senua willingly being captured by Northern Slavers who destroyed her village in the first game in hopes of freeing her people. Along the way, Senua does meet other companions who help her navigate the new world in an attempt in solving their own crisis. The storytelling here is the absolute best part of the game. At no point did I feel that the story let me down. The pacing of each segment was well done so well it was hard for me to put the game down as I kept pushing forward. The only reason why I stopped was I knew I needed to sleep to go to work the next day but I would have played till the very end. The character development is a bit shallow with Senua's companions, but does provide interaction besides the voices in her head. But overall, this is a Senua show as she works to develop and better herself throughout her journey. The presentation is probably the best I have seen so far. The craft here by the developers show their dedication to the project in every aspect of the visuals all the way down to the sound. The voices that surround Senua is so immersive that they even do feel a part of the player making you feel that much more invested. The world is absolutely stunning and was a treat to witness the different areas of the game. I really wanted to see what was next as the visuals never disappointed. The gameplay is pretty much moving from point A to point B with battles that really do enhance the developer's cinematic vision. All the blows really landed and I felt tense in every confrontation. To me, this was a stark improvement from the first game in that it felt more impactive instead of getting through as a means to an end. Puzzles here are easy, and I mean very easy to complete. I have no complaints, but there were very much a hindrance at times as I wanted to push through to the next portion of the story. Nothing here really screams frustration, but you never feel great about solving them either. Besides the puzzles on the easy side, my other con would have to be the voices in Senua's head speak almost non-stop. I love their interactions, but was surprised they would speak during other dialogue that made it hard to concentrate. I understand that this is probably a part of Psychosis, but as a story-based game, I wanted to hear more without distractions. It truly felt that someone else was talking in the background while I was playing the game. Whatever ties we have are weaved from heartbreak and despair. Although I did consume that bitter breath found them. just once. So it is not and impossible. I did grab you what I saw. If he can find them, you can find them. <laughs> they will. They will test you. We have been tested They before. might even try to kill you. But if you win their favor... We might die. They might give you what you seek. Overall, the game is a visual delight with the best presentation I have seen to date. 
The story is wonderful, but is boggled down with its in-game puzzles and at times overuse of the voices in a dialogue. Although a fantastic experience, after I was done, I was done. Senua Saga Hellblade 2 gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its wonderfully crafted world and visuals with fantastic story and experience with a bit too easy puzzles that felt more of an obstacle to further the game more. That's it for this look at Senua Saga. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.